in this video we'll discuss about the torsion of a circular shaft okay so we'll discuss what you mean by the torsion what is circular shaft we'll go point wise here okay uh, so here some of the points are there you know, it will be very helpful uh, about the torsion of the circular shaft here if you go to the first point here the i'll read first and then i'll explain what it means okay so transmission of power from motor to compressor motor to pump turbine to generator through a circular shaft okay so obviously in mechanical uh, discipline we need to transfer the power from one component to another component here okay so here one of the power trans transmission unit is motor to compressor okay so if you want to transfer the power from the motor to the compressor what what do you mean by compressor compressor is one of the mechanical component in which you are generating the uh, high pressure uh, fluid output of the compressor is high pressure fluid either almost it will be in a gaseous form here so if you want to run the compressor you need a motor okay so next if you want to run the pump if you want to run the pump you need a motor if you want to uh, transfer the power from the turbine turbine to generators what do you mean by turbines turbine there also created a mechanical power so if you want to transfer this mechanical power to the generators obviously there is a intermediate component in all these the components if you want to transfer from the mechanical power from one component to another component you need a intermediate component that intermediate component is known as circular shaft circular shaft okay the so you know already the circular shaft the second point is circular uh, shaft is it is circular in cross section so this is same like in this is for example this is the circular shaft it is solid or hollow both may be considered but it will be circular cross section so always so you can transfer in the first point if you transfer the power from motor to compressor this is very important here the circular shaft okay so next third point if you go there the <coughs> shaft while transferring power subjected to torsion so this is obviously the uh, the input component it has some mechanical or rotational component the motor if you want to transfer this power to the compressor for example to the compressor obviously it will subject it to certain types of the forces that force is known as torsion that force is known as torsion so while transferring the power from one component to another component the shaft is subjected to the torsion torsion so that's why we are discussing here the circular shaft circular shaft under a torsion under a torsion okay so what do you mean by torsion we'll discuss that one the next point is torsion torsion is two equal and opposite couples you have you you need a two forces you need two forces their magnitude are equal their magnitude are equal but their direction is opposite in direction for example here one figure is there here one figure is there this is shaft solid solid shaft here circular shaft so i denoted this one as a shaft so its axis is xx longitudinal axis is xx and given here so to this shaft if i subject it to two equal and opposite forces equal forces means here one torque couple and here here one force here one force both together it will form a couple it will form a couple so they are in opposite direction you should not apply in the same direction suppose this is shaft if you apply one couple in this direction one force in this direction in other end you should apply in the opposite direction these two forces form say couple here okay you need to apply a couple their magnitude is equal equal and their direction is opposite so that is called torsion okay so this point the torsion is two equal and opposite couples two equal here t is there here t is there equal in magnitude and their direction is opposite here okay so next next point is torsion okay it is also known as torque sometimes the torsion is known as also torque or sometimes it is known as twisting moment because twisting moment why it is called uh, twisting moment because it will the whatever the result of this uh, couple is it will uh, lead to twist twist of the shaft twist of the shaft so that's why it is called twisting moment okay or the torsion is also called a twisting couple as i said couple if you if you apply the two forces equal in equal and opposite so they form a couple so torsion is also called as twisting couple you can call it as torque 
you can call it as twisting moment you can call it as twisting couple okay so next uh, what do you mean by the uh, what is the unit of torque so torque is always uh, the unit is newton meter either newton meter or newton millimeter or kilo newton meter okay so force into perpendicular distance whatever you are applying the force into perpendicular distance so force is in terms of newton perpendicular distance is certain uh, in terms of mm or meter or kilometer so that's why this force perpen into perpendicular distance so you will get the unit is either newton newton mm or kilo newton meter or kilo newton mm okay these are all the units of the torque here so next point if you go there it is pure torsion so here pure torsion you know you are applying two equal and opposite uh, forces or couple so what do you mean by pure pure means any the component or any object or circular shaft if you consider the circular shaft it is subjected to only the torsion torsional type of the forces it should not subjected to the bending forces or any axial any axial forces so we have other types also it means if the component is subjected a combination of the forces sometimes depending upon the application so sometimes it is the combination of bending and the axial force sometimes it is a combination of bending axial and the torsion okay so these forces are co commonly combined forces the component is undergone a subjected to some combined forces but the impure torsion only it is subjected to the uh, torsional type of the forces no bending no axial forces here okay 